We are very excited to be preparing for our October opening of our golf course after this renovation here in 2020. I think this will be the final flyover before we open. This was recorded on Friday, September the 11th. You can see the uh, tees, fairways, and the greens, the bunkers, bunker surrounds, cart path. All this stuff is, is really starting to come together. Now we are continuing to uh, spot sprig some areas uh, kind of around the perimeters in particular, uh, like this maintenance road here, continuing to work on growing that in. And we will turn a little bit more of our attention back to some of these uh, kind of peripheral areas. Uh, we've been really focused on growing in the, the greens, tees, and fairways. As you can see here with hole two, um, it, it really looks incredible. Hole three, tee boxes are looking nice. We have had a fair amount of washouts on uh, some link banks in different areas. You see some repair work here. And hole three fairway uh, has, has given us fits. Uh, we've had to touch up a lot of areas on it, re-sprig several areas, uh, really one half of the whole fairway. Um, but it's starting to starting to come together finally. I think we've turned the corner on it. Um, you see the green complex looks amazing. We are waiting on a fencing contractor to uh, shore up the area here uh, behind the green, so visually have that fixed. Wow, and look at hole four. Uh, the, the transition there between the T complex and three green just looks amazing. Uh, you'll see that pile of material there. We're using that for top dressing, which is really helping to uh, grow in, and we'll be depleting that over the next month, getting rid of that pile. And uh, kind of coming in low here on the drone, but it's kind of nice to get that visual. The water's really high, but how good does that green look? Pretty amazing, really. Staying low, these tees look amazing. The lake banks have held up pretty well. Uh, the approach, look how visible the green is. Look how beautiful those bunkers look. Uh, again, that pile will be gone, but just imagine uh, that view from the tee, which the, the camera was pretty much at eye level there. Now, six fairway continues to give us a little bit of trouble, but Again, kind of like three, we think we've kind of turned the corner and uh, we're getting it in a much better place now. Uh, but you'll still see some areas that we're continuing to work on. Um, and, uh, you know, we're varying our mowing patterns. And we've really increased our mowing. Uh, grass likes to be mowed, it grows a lot more the more you mow it. Um, so I think we're in a good spot here going forward. You'll also see as we approach seven, um, kind of a new idea we're trying out here in a few places. See how the uh, it's a kind of a one cut height there, extending from six green surround to the gold tee to the blue tee, all one height. So we're trying that out in a few areas. Um, looks pretty good. Another thing we're gonna try out is a little bit of different maintenance procedure with our bunkers. Uh, try to get those to play a little firmer, uh, which most golfers uh, would prefer really increase the playability of the bunkers, hopefully. Um, it's going to be a little more hand raking, and uh, we'll use the machine in there less often, um, just kind of firm them up. You also see where we've got some sodded areas kind of patched in around these tee boxes, just areas that have been washed out. That's a lot of what we've been doing lately is kind of repairing areas that got washed out and um, touching up areas that just, you know, didn't grow, grow quite right. Um, things like that. You'll notice some, uh, we've got some standing water here and there, uh, kind of in more of those natural areas away from the playing surfaces. Um, we are working to address those. 
um, going around we're clearing out uh, a lot of catch basins but uh, on the other hand uh, the amount of rain we've had has been pretty extraordinary um, the good news is as you can see really from the fairways the golf course itself the playing surfaces have handled it very well over here at hole 10 that's looking pretty nice um, you can see the fairway looks really good we're not putting in by the way we're not putting in a first cutter up there or anything that's not what you see what you see is just the, the first pass around those fairways um, it's a different mower used for around the edges there and uh, just been mowed um, to a slightly different height before the rest of it was mowed you also see on the greens you know that one's got a little tinge of that top dressing to it so the pile of material you know not just by four but also you saw it kind of behind 8t and uh, uh, to the left of seven there's another material using that for top dressing um, as you could see right there when I almost hit that tree uh, it was very very windy out when I was flying um, not really a great day to fly a drone but got it done anyway there's Tim uh, mowing the fairways you can see he's circle mowing uh, you never want to mow it all in the same direction. You got to vary the way you mow um, to, so that the grass doesn't get used to laying one way. But uh, this fairway was one of the last ones done there where all their equipment was, and it's it's looking great. You see around the edges of the green, um, you see some kind of sandy areas. We're still maintaining that perimeter around the greens. You got to prevent any encroachment. Um, so you, you just continually edge those greens to keep the celebration from contaminating your Tiff Eagle green surfaces. Um, this continues to be one of my favorite spots uh, on the golf course where the, we lowered this tee box down to water level. Um, boy, the wind is really pushing this thing here, you can see. but. You know, this fairway looks really good. Um, we are going through uh, on the ditch here. We're going to touching up a few areas with some pine straw uh, in addition to the, the in between where the ditch was. We did sprig it with celebration as well. Um, but doing some, some fun stuff in there. Starting to work on some of those little details. Hole 14. Again, that transition between uh, the back of 13 green to the T complex there looks great. Um, it's a nice look for us. I really enjoy this new fairway bunker. I think it's going to present uh, an additional layer of challenge to our 14th hole. Think about the, the finishing holes that we've got here now. I mean, you throw 14 in there, uh, 15 has been lengthened. Look how great this, this is. The tee boxes look fantastic um, and as you go through these these finishing holes I, I mean they're they're a great challenge a great test so it's gonna be fun for all of us to play uh, as often as we can especially here when we first open up and we did have that big pile of material here so you kind of see a little patch there uh, where grass is kind of late to grow in um, we're also kind of Playing around with the uh, rough height there between the tees and the fairway. Um, maybe too late in the year to, to do anything with some of these areas, but we're kind of um, just playing around with some different ideas. Now you see here behind hole 16, there was a huge pile of material there, and uh, that's, now, that's now gone. We've moved. Uh, we used a good bit of it and we've moved a good bit of it too. I'll show you that um, here when we go to the uh, practice range at the end. Um, all these repairs and things that we did over on uh, 17 with the lake bank um, kind of had some washout areas. That looks good. All the, the sand you see, the, those are areas that are purposefully being, you know, sanded and then uh, we're hand cutting in some sprigs here and there as well um, so just kind of some of those sparse areas getting those to grow in got some magnolias there behind 17 green to the left to the left of the uh, uh, back tees back 
couple sets of tees there. Um, so as those get bigger, they'll provide a nice little, um, nice little hedge from San Jose Boulevard, um, which is obviously continues to be a priority just to kind of shield the golf course, uh, the views, and um, boy, look at 18 fairway. Looks looks really good. Uh, this this whole side of the golf course really. Uh, has come along astonishingly well uh, from my perspective and uh, I'm just really happy with the way things have gone. You see we've got our hole signs up there against the clubhouses, our old hole signs. plan is to auction some of those off, so that should be cool. Now here at the practice range, just kind of showing you there what the tee looks like as of right now and then uh, also back here to the left you know, the plan is next year, clear out some of these trees to the back left, open up our range a little bit. We've piled up some material back there. You see that dirt, those dirt piles? The idea is to push a T back there to the left. I mean, you got plenty of room back there. You can see even behind that uh, pile there. So that'll be neat. Thanks for following along this summer. Thankfully, we were able to do this with, and avoid any crashes, though this one was close. I don't know about you, but I sure am ready to stop looking at this golf course and start playing it. Let's have some fun.